go. Hello, Vikings fans. Um, I'm going to be showing you a quick video on how the Vikings could become sixth seed. And people are making it more complicated than it needs to be. It's going to be a short, simple video. So here we go. Obviously, Vikings need to beat the Jaguars. You want the Bills to win that. You want the Steelers. And, well, it doesn't really matter here, but... Cowboys or whatever and you want the Lions to win you don't want the uh, you don't want to risk the Bears being a competition with us later on this season um, doesn't really matter here I doubt we'll even take the first seed I meant uh, f the sp first spot of our division obviously you're gonna be Big Rams supporters because if we do, we sneak into the seventh seed. Hint Buccaneers have a bye week, Seahawks, and then obviously you want the Eagles to win. So, as you can see, we're seventh seed. Week 14 next week, you want to be rooting for the Patriots. We want to be rooting for the Texans. We're going to be what well, doesn't really matter here. Cowboys, I guess. Um, you're going to be rooting for it, doesn't really matter. I guess Panthers, Seahawks, and then still doesn't really matter. I guess Falcons. So, as you can see, because of that bye week, boom, Vikings go on a two game winning streak and the Cardinals lose. Even if they win here. They're stuck at 7th seed for now, at least as the week 14 is. Obviously, you're going to be rooting for the Lions if you want to take a shot. But let's be honest, we're kind of it's a bit too late. 49ers and Saints. So, thank you for watching. This is just a quick video on how the Vikings could go from 8th seed to 6th seed. Just as a bonus, even if the Cardinals win that game and we still win two games in a row we still get a seventh seed so no matter what happens if we get two wins we guarantee at least at this as the time being we get a you know a six seed uh, a seventh seed but obviously cardinals lose we get six seed so thank you for watching and let's go vikings